They're the last two. They complete the lineup. All in. 3,200 meters, two miles. And they're off. King Shadow jumps outwards from Stallgate 7. That's not exactly ideal, but a lot of race still to work with. And Timo, out of Stallgate number one, broke out well. Still just a right there. Then King Shadow, who jumped outwards but got onto the front foot pretty quickly. Then comes Alvatan, who's handy enough in the grey colours, racing a couple of lengths off them. Mekdam next best. Her team was against the inside. And Vero King being sat on at the back of the field, about six or seven lengths in it. As they make their way towards the finish line for the first time, and King Shadow has got the bit between his teeth. He's in front by about five lengths, and he's opening up, and he's working really hard as King Shadow. He's in his own race, and he's got a plane to catch. One lap left. King Shadow in front by about eight. Second place is Alvatan, and Timo races in third. McDarm is at the outside of the group. Then comes Silchester in the green colours, racing uh, just behind midfield. Then we go a length and a half away to her team, and Ferro King is out at the end of the field, about 2,200 metres left to go. King Shadow is clear. Eight lanes to the good towards the back straight. King Shadow takes no prisoners, lightweight on his back. And no prisoners taken. In front now by close to 10 lengths. McDon got into second. Alvatan, Solchester are the next two. And then we go just over a length away to her team, who races a good dozen lengths from the leader. Then further back in running is Ferro King. And Timo is also in that bunch. And they got onto the back straight. And King Shadow is all alone in isolation, about a dozen lengths clear. McDom also all by itself in second. He was only one to get away from the main pack, and McDom second and about five lengths in front of Alvatan, who's third and close to 20 lengths off this leader. Then comes Silchester, Ferro King, and Timo, blue and white colours is towards the rear. Her team has got, oh, more than 30 lengths to make up. This is a huge, bold move made by King Shadow. 1,400 metres out. King Shadow's about 10 lengths in front, but you have to wonder whether he's done too much already. McDarm is second, still about four lengths in front of Alvatan, who races away in third. Silchester's fourth. Then Ferro King, who's made a couple of places, and Timo won from last. Make that last now as a team improved a place at the corner of the track. They went through the 1,000 metres mark, and King Shadow has done a lot. He's done plenty, and the lead's been whittled down now to about five lengths. McDom sits in second. Then we go further three lengths away to Alvatan, who's now only about five lengths from the leader. Then we go further five back to Ferro King, her team, Solchester, and Antimo past the 800, and King Shadow has now run his race. New leader, McDom. Alvatan tries to chase. King Shadow is now in a race against time, not to finish out of the places. Then about five lengths away to her team, he'll corner into the home straight in fourth place, and a good ten lengths off the leader. They've been spaced out because of the pace that they went. Next best Ferro King got his work cut up. They're only about two that can win this now. 400 metres up. McDam is towards the far side. Albertan in the silver colours. Then about eight lengths away to King Shadow. Her team and Antimo were next. 250 out. McDam the leader. Albertan second. There's two lengths in it. Eight lengths clear of her team in third. It's still McDam and McDam is repelling Albertan into the final 100 metres. McDam has been very well ridden here. McDon the winner, Alvatan ran second, a long way back to third, it was Antimo, then came her team, for all the work King Shadow did, he takes home a check for fifth, then came Ferro King in Silchester.